That's right, after popular demand for months on end, Mumbo Jumbo and I are doing a collaboration. Now let me explain how this is going to work. Mumbo Jumbo, king of all redstone, is going to be making a house for me with all of his amazing ideas in it. On the other hand, I am going to be making a house for him, focusing on building. Once we've finished, we're then going to swap over our two maps and have a look what we made for each other. Then we're going to use our expertise and upgrade them using what we know. Then we're going to swap them back and see what we think of each other's transformations. Hopefully that makes sense. It's one large house swap using the best of redstone and building to see what we can do together. So first of all, let's see what I've made for Mumbo. And this is the mansion that I have made for Mumbo Jumbo. As you can see, it's got his face over the front. The building itself looks lovely, but it's a moustache fiend as well, so it's got kind of a bit of his skin. Now there's signs down there, and I'm not going to read them out because they're for Mumbo to read in his video. So if you want to see his reaction, you'll have to wait until the end of this video and then head over onto his to get the opposite. Right, so <laughs> on the inside I've kind of gone for a very moustache themed thing going on here. Everywhere has his little face on it. And he's got a bedroom in there, and I've even included a little resource pack with his face uh, replaced uh, for the paintings. So there's like, there's stuff here, there's stuff here, there's stuff here. There's a little toilet over there. I don't want to show you too much. And then there's a couple of rooms in there which I'll leave secret for uh, when he goes in. So anyway, it's a pretty good looking build, I think. It's very impressive. It's a grand mansion. So what he's going to do is he's going to have a look at what I've made. He's going to have a run through it, read all my signs, and then he's going to make it full of redstone. But first, what I need to do is see what Mumbo has made for me, and I need to transform his first and then after we've done that we'll come back to this once he's sent it back and we'll have a look at what redstone he's added to it so let's go and see what mumbo jumbo has made for me and it's a fairly normal looking house let's take a look around the outside first i feel like this is intentionally meant to be basic because all of the good stuff is on the inside now everybody knows that i'm awful at redstone so this will be this will probably blow my mind even if it's kind of normal to you guys so let's take a oh wow let's take a look what we've got in here let's uh see shulker swapper so okay that's a shulker oh oh well, isn't that useless but really cool <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's so unnecessary but i love it hey so you can like, you can just, it's like a chest swapper almost, so it's like a cycle through all of your stuff. That's really cool, I like that. Uh, the double extender elevator. So where, do I stand on this? Oh, no I don't. Oh my god, that's so cool. How do I make, how do I make this? <gasps> Whoa, okay, this is blowing my mind already. Okay, so we've got input into my storage silo. Blaze input, so that's probably another machine. Let's go and have a look what this one does. Potion Brewer. Bit broken in the snapshot. Hope I'm not in the snapshot. Right, let's press the button. Alright. Oh, awkward potions. <laughs> nice. What do they do? They do nothing. I must admit, I don't really know much about potions. I'll have a little sip anyway. Right, so that's cool. That's cool. So you put all the stuff you need for potions in here. What's this? So this is input into my storage silo. Alright, let's, let's get some random blocks and see how this works. Uh, let's just put that in there. Oh, all right. So it goes down, and then and then what? It's in it's in here. Does it make its way into the chest? Oh, there they are. That's pretty cool. So let's see what this does. This this lever here. Man, this is compact. Like I I I think I feel like I'm a kid in a candy shop here where there's so many things, but like this is all in this tiny little house. So there's this really cool hidden thing here, and I love how I love how smooth that is. Look how quick that is. That's brilliant. Right, so what have we got down here? Super smelter items in here. Oh, okay. Coal input. Alright, so let me get let me get some coal. Or charcoal. Charcoal will be fine. Uh, and then let's get some iron ore just for the, the sake of it, shall we? Alright, so that's going down. Now what? Does it... Oh! Oh, that's clever. Man, I would legitimately do all of these things manually. I'd put them all in the furnace and I'd, I'd get them there. So does it 
come out of here when it's done. This is so smart. This is so clever. Oh, there's blocks of coal in there already. So where did that go? Oh man, this is so bizarre for me. Like, it's such a simple design as well. This doesn't seem like it takes like too much redstone. That's pretty. It's pretty easy to do, right? So does it? <gasps> wow, that's so quick. This is probably this is really basic, but like I've never seen it before, so it's like blowing my mind. And we got a toggleable Nether portal. So how does it? Oh, okay, so it just breaks it with water. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's cool. Why? I don't know why you'd want to turn it off. So things can't get through. Or your friend goes through it and you don't want it anymore. So you don't want... I don't know. I think that's everything. What's this? <laughs> okay, yeah. Wait, I thought that was everything. There was a hidden crafting bench. Oh my god, that's so cool. You could literally hide everything, I'm pretty sure, if you tried. That I like that. It's so There's like so many little unnecessary things. This is a really neat little redstone house. I have to admit, this is really, really cool. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. There's a lot of little knickknacks in there. Uh, and I don't know. I'm just really impressed. To be honest with you, I haven't dabbled in redstone at all. It's one of those things where I'm like, I don't understand it, so I'm not going to try and understand it. But I'm pretty sure if I put some time into it, I could do it. But I think there's something that we can do about this out. In exterior here. I think there's something we can do about the outside. So what I'm going to do for Mumbo's house is I'm not going to touch any of the redstone stuff. What I'm going to do is make this look like a really pretty house as well as being a nice redstone interior. So let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to be using the replay mod as I always do with these videos so you get a better view of how this looks. So let's take a look at Mumbo's house. It's not the most wildly impressive build that I've ever seen, but it's kind of standard. Lots of people make houses like this. So I'll kind of go through a very bog standard method that I would use to improve this. And one of the first things is just giving it some shape. These walls are incredibly flat. He had an overhang, but the walls themselves could use a bit more depth and detail. So I'm going to extend it out a bit more and give it a fresh layer giving it a nice framework and introducing some detailed shapes. It almost looks hobbit hole like at the bottom, improving the windows and giving it a base layer of spruce. But I really genuinely want to keep the original structure as much as possible. So I'm not going to lose uh, this giant hut that's here. I'm just going to add to it and give it a bit more shape. On the side, I thought it might be nice to add a little bit that juts out, as well as adding some pathways and some fences, like I said, to make it less square. Instead of just having one big block of building, adding all these little bits that jut out in the same theme and the same style will just improve it quite a lot, as well as giving you a lot more space. A bit of general advice that I like to give about building is experiment. Don't feel like you can't try out new things. On this build, I'm not doing it in the same style I would as a tutorial. I did one front face to try and determine what style I would use for the rest of this building improvement, and then I caught sort of stuck with it. But if something wasn't right, I backtrack, remove it, and try something new. Don't be afraid. One of the issues with this house is that it's one giant rectangle, and that's not really a problem, as I'm going to be keeping that there as I'm transforming it. But what you'll notice is I'm adding loads of bits that extend off of it, which makes it a lot more digestible for your eyes to look at. So that's just one thing that we can do. Another thing is keeping the palette nice and diverse. Mumbo kept a very simple palette, which is absolutely fine. He had cobblestone, wood, and log. Those three blocks are extremely common and used all the time for building, but by introducing just a few bits of variation, you can usually improve the build without having to hunt too much for materials in your survival world. For example, I introduced just a line of spruce wood at the bottom of the normal oak. I also put stone brick staircases, which are just very refined cobblestone at the end uh, into the roof itself so that only the outer rim of the roof 
was left as cobblestone. And you can sort of mix and match, and you can even have walls that are made up of two blocks just randomly mixed together as well. Loads of combinations work. It's all about experimenting and trying to get a more complex palette. So that's just a whole nother ballpark. What I've tried to do with the top of this extension is really give it a different roof style. The roof of a building can make or break it. Mumbo did a very bog standard one with staircases. That's absolutely fine, but if you put a different roof on a bog standard block house, it can really redefine it. So by improving the shape, we can really make the build feel very, very different. And that's what I've tried to do here. I've kept Mumbo's original one, but I'm trying to improve it by having the extra bits that I've added onto it have a very distinguished roof. I've even added a little semicircle window to try and give it a bit more shape and then change the roof to match it. And that's quite important. I've also added a chimney here just to try and give it a bit more height. As his blockhouse was fairly sizable, I want it to match the height that it has in length. I've also added a nice effect using stained glass panes for smoke, mixing two different colors of gray. And we're starting to come to the end. I've also added a bunch of leaves and grass. On a build like this, I always feel like it's a really nice touch to add as much nature as possible without overloading it. So you'll see that I added a bunch of farmland in the front. I've added some leaves, I've added flowers, and I've also added some flower pots made of just grass block and some trap doors to really try and give some color to this build. Because I've got a very simple palette of gray and brown, those little flowers make a huge difference. Anyway, this is the completed build. This is what I've managed to transform his original, very humble and very standard house that he's made. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm not saying it's wrong, but I think that this is a slight improvement on what Mumbo gave me. So I hope that he's happy with this and I hope that it does the redstone justice. There has been redstone in that from the beginning and I haven't managed to disturb it once. So let's see what Mumbo has done with my build that I gave him. So from the outside, I can already see that there's been a door added and I wonder if he managed to find the moustache that I put on the roof. <laughs> uh, so this is actually the first time that I'm seeing what Mumbo has made. So I haven't gone in and checked. This is all my very first reaction. So let's take a look, shall we? He says, open the door. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. A, he's, <laughs> he's tainted it with redstone everywhere. Look at this. He didn't even bother covering it up. Right, so let's take a look inside, shall we? So if you watch Mumbo's first, you already know what he's been up to, but I have no idea. God, I, I, I'm so overwhelmed right now. So right, open the closet first. Okay. Super awesome closet. Open it. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was so... <laughs> now go to the study, it's awesome. Yeah, sure it is. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a jump scare. I wasn't ex expecting a jump scare. Super Hollywood film set. Okay. Oh my goodness. Now, I didn't show you at the start of the mo uh, the video here, but what I made here was a study for him. I had like a little computer and a green screen, but he's just completely made something insane. Super editing suite. Most inputs do nothing. Okay. Do any? Do do they do some of? Okay, that one turns it on. Most inputs do nothing. So maybe some, maybe some, oh, so most of them just turn on lights. That's okay. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Activate moving set part two. Oh my God, that's so cool. That's really cool. Woo I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, let's see what, what's up here. Activate moving set system. What? Oh my God. It's like a motorbike. It's like a motorbike. Duh, duh, duh. So it's like it's like he's it's like a proper film set here, and like going through the countryside on my motorbike. That's so cool. Although it's very very loud. That's so neat. Look at all this complex redstone. Although they're you have to remember people that do redstone. For us that have no idea, this is really impressive. This is really really impressive. <laughs> Is that... I hope I'm not missing anything. I hope I haven't missed anything there. So there's... I think there's just two things. Oh, what's this up here? Activate three-point lighting system. Oh, yeah. Using your camera knowledge there. So you just got three lights. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. 
So let's move on. Shall, let's continue, shall we? <laughs> That's what I put. Um, let's say, oh, what is this? Oh, so that's the way out. What do these do? Okay. Oh, nice. It's just a dispenser of armor. I like that. So you can you can get whatever you want. Nice. I'll take all of them. Oh, let's take them off for now. Let's go. <laughs> let's go and have a look. Uh, right. Where do we go next? Super secret room. I'm really scared that I'm gonna get a jump scare again. Elmo is coming for me. <laughs> uh, what? What does that mean? Elmo is coming for you. <laughs> I hope he doesn't mean my Elmo that I built uh, previously, because that's terrifying. Let's let's put this back. Uh, right. In here. Yeah, I wrote that one. Okay, let's see what we got in here. My kitchen! What's he done to the kitchen? Oh my goodness. The poor kitchen. <laughs> I love this. This is so good. Right. Super furnace system. Whoa. <gasps> that's so neat. <laughs> He's got mumbo pictures everywhere. I love it. <laughs> That's so cool. Toggle, toggle furnaces by hitting the button. Where is the button? What what button is he talking about? Is there? There's no secret room or anything. Uh, let's see what else we got. So this this is the original kitchen that I made, and it doesn't seem like too much has changed. Oh, it broke the carpet, but we got a pig. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. What is this? Is there a button here? Or is this just an egg dispensing machine or something? Am I missing something here? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so, oh my god, this is awful. But you get cooked pork chops, so it's... I guess this is the, the redstoner's idea of cooking. See, like, this is the builder's idea with a really nice kitchen and stuff. Nope, this is, this is the redstone way. You gotta kill the stuff with lava. <laughs> Alright, so what am I missing here? The mega wheat farm for animals. Walk back and forth with seeds and flick the lever. All right. Okay. Uh, let me get some seeds out. So do I go like this? I feel like I'm doing it wrong. I feel like I'm doing it. Oh. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I didn't. T I didn't turn the top on. Oh my god, this is clever. This is. So this is how you farm quickly. Gotcha. This is this is really cool. That's actually really neat. I like that. Well done, Mumbo. I like that. That's that's cool. Have I have I got everything in here? <laughs> I, I, he's put paintings everywhere. So what's this? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so I guess this is where you give them like you give them the wheat and stuff. And then you breathe them. Do you, do you click it again to send them down? This is so funny. I know this is like I this is like what you're supposed to do to breathe them, but that's so funny. I like that. Really, how did you get here? Oh, are you the pig that I let out earlier? I think he's the pig that I let out earlier. There are so many things in here. I, I'm like a. I thought the, I thought the first one was impressive. Look what he's done. This is mad. Whew. Okay. I think I got everything in there. I can't believe how much they got me. Damn it, Mumbo. You knew you were going to get me. Let's have a look. So, spare room and bedroom. This is, yeah, this is what I left for him. Uh, <laughs> there is not a secret room here. So, what I did on the first one is I made a secret room here with just a painting in front. It's a very bog standard trick. Everyone knows it. Place redstone dust here. So, he has made a real room. Nice. So there is a secret room still here, and he just made it a, a real secret entrance. So only if you built this house would you know to put redstone dust there to activate it. So let's go and have a look in the bathroom, see if there's been anything. Oh, yep, yeah, of course. Goodness me, it's like it's like a scientist has taken over this house and just completely altered everything. The Japan toilet. <laughs> see, me and Jumbo have Mumbo Jumbo have both been to Japan, okay? So we know what these toilets are like. And they're super futuristic. They play music and they flush and they spray water. It's it's good, so <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh I love it. That's so good. That's so funny. Alright, super jacuzzi. What we got here? Oh nice. It's a proper jacuzzi. I like that. 
So the one I made before was just water. That's really cool. Auto flushing toilet. What have we got? What does this do? Uh, how do I activate it? I don't. I don't know what I do. Do I just? Is? How does it work? I thought it auto flushed. I. I feel like I'm. I'm missing something here. I'm being a, a stupid maybe. Oh. No. I. I don't know. I'm sorry, Mumbo. I don't know how that one works. Uh, working shower system. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. It's like a real shower. See, this is why I need someone with redstone skills, because I wouldn't have been able to do this. Alright, so let's go and have a look in the final room, which is the bedroom. Can we also talk about the fact that he's just got flicking lights everywhere? He's changed this into a madhouse. Uh, let's take a look. So, we've got create a mood by putting a disc in. Okay. All right, uh, let's take, where are the discs at? Let's put this one in. I could have put a better disc in. Hold on, let's put, let's put a slightly happier one in. Which one's a chirp? That sounds happy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see, it's got mood lighting. Nice. There isn't much redstone in bedroom. I liked my mood creator far too much. <laughs> Anvil replacer. Okay, so if I if I if that breaks you just click this Nice. All right. That's cool. <laughs> oh Boy This has been really good. I've enjoyed this I've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed going through all these contraptions and honestly I hadn't checked any of these before well, maybe you could tell by the fact that I I nearly soiled myself by that jump scare I'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit upset that you did that. I trusted you This is the this is the first one isn't it? There you go Ooh. Mumbo Jumbo, that is really impressive. I mean, I don't think you've kept the rather artistic integrity of uh, the the mansion here, um, but honestly, this is really cool. This is a lot of fun. It's like a fun house in Minecraft. I love it. It's so it's so good. So let's close the doors on this one. Thank you so much, Mumbo Jumbo, for this collaboration. I've had a lot of fun. This has been really, really cool, and it's so different to what we normally do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well, because you've been demanding this on both of our channels for a really long time, and it took us a while to come up with an idea that would work. So hopefully this has been very entertaining. But what I need you to do now is click the screen right now where, where it has Mumbo channel, and I want you to go and watch his video for the second part of this. It's like the opposite of what I've done here. So he's gonna go through all of his thought process and he's gonna review what I made for him. Make sure you go and check out Mumbo Jumbo's video and subscribe to him. He's a top bloke, he does excellent videos and he also does excellent vlogs as well. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Goodbye.